Everyone has a gender. It affects the way we look, the way we act, and how others perceive us. But have you ever thought what gender actually is? I talked to Evelyn Jake, a junior, about her transition from male to female transgender. For as long as I can remember, I've been transgender. Uh, I never really knew how to put it into words, but it was always there. I always felt kind of different, like something was kind of off. Uh, and as I progressed into my, my sexuality and my gender questioning, I began to, to cross-dress. I'd wear, I'd wear makeup and I'd wear some men's clothing and some women's clothing. And I, I would often have people on the street, just anyone would come up and ask me if I was a man or a woman, which I was happy to reply, man, even though I, I, I didn't understand completely that I was transgender and that I am actually a woman. When you have a baby, the first thing they say to you if you don't already know, is it's a boy, it's a girl. There were times that I definitely did struggle with it. You know, am I telling her the right thing? Am I supporting her in the right way? I think that once, personally, that I accepted, um, well, first Jacob's choices and then Evelyn's choices. Um, you know, sometimes I call her Jake and I say he and, you know, I mean, it took time to, to shift that over after 14 years of, you know, saying male pronouns and saying Jacob. Why do you feel people have a problem with transgender issues if they do not affect themselves personally? People believe that straight and biologically female and biologically male are the norms for people, but it isn't. When, when they believe it's the norm, many people can accept that there are other types of, of, of people. Men and women marry, men and women are born men and women, and they stay that way. We aren't introduced to, to, to other types of gender and other types of sexuality. Sometimes I'm surprised at how focused other people are on it because to me, she's just my baby. People are gay, people, are, people are, are transgender. I mean, and I think society needs to start teaching people at a younger age that that's just how life is, that there are people like that, and that when, when people are born that way, they, they should be able to embrace it. How has been openly transgender affected you in high school? At the school I'm attending now, a much smaller school than, for example, Royal Oak High School, I go to Nexus Academy and they've allowed me to use the, the teacher's restroom instead of using the men's restroom or the ladies' restroom. I can't use the men's restroom because I'm, I'm not a man and I am a woman, but unfortunately with the way laws are set up, I'm not allowed to use the ladies' restroom. The law in effect is a disturbance of the peace law. Are you taking any medication to help with the transition? Yes. When transitioning male to female, uh, most of the time the therapy that people go with is testosterone blockers uh, followed by estrogen. Those two paired together work very well. Um, uh, my skin is softening. I'm growing breasts. My weight is distributing my fat. Uh, so I'm becoming, my, my hips are getting wider and fuller. Um, my face has changed quite a bit. My jaw has become less uh, masculine, and um, my cheekbones have come out a bit. Uh, hair has begun to thin. You know, she's my baby, he's my baby. It doesn't matter, she, they're my baby. And I don't know how any parent cannot love their child, no matter what they do or change. Does possible. For a really, really long time, I didn't. Uh, I didn't think I could. I could get this far. I mean, I would. I dream about being a woman, thinking it would make my life easier and make me happier, and it has. Um, but uh, you can. You can do it. I'm Stephen Mitchell with PBS Student Reporting Labs.